the DPF cleaner is burning inside the DPF. Let me show you how much smoke we have back here. You see all this smoke? Do you see all this smoke that's coming out of the tailpipe? This is the DPF cleaner burning all the soot inside the DPF. This thing stinks. So we're gonna let it do its thing. So I'm gonna let this here for about half hour. Let's let this engine run like this with the high RPM for about 30 minutes and then I'll bring you guys back up. So now I'm gonna remove our piece of wood that we wedged over here. We still have smoke coming out of the exhaust. So we're gonna bring our idle down. So let's drive the vehicle in the shop and then we're gonna reconnect the mass airflow sensor and erase the codes and after that we're gonna take this for a test drive. So we're going to reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Actually, before we go on a test drive, I would like to redo the, um, the, the test that we did earlier. The test that we did with the pressure gauge. So I'm going to grab a pressure gauge and connect it to this tube. We're going to rev up the engine to see if our DPF has been cleared. Okay, if the suit level has been reduced, our pressure gauge should not go over 3 PSI. So now I'm going to get a pressure gauge so I can connect it to this hose. We have cleaned the DPF, so now let's see if the restriction in the exhaust system has gone down. I'm going to rev up the engine. I'm going to rev up the engine again. As you guys saw, our pressure gauge kept going up to a little bit over 3 PSI. So it looks like our DPF cleaning process didn't work. My shop light just died. So it looks like the cleaning process didn't work so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reconnect the scan tool to the vehicle let's see if our suit content in the dpf has changed let's see if the suit content has dropped down but if it didn't we're gonna have to replace this dpf
All right, the mass airflow sensor is reconnected. We reconnected the hoses on the pressure differential sensor. So now let's go back in the vehicle and erase the trouble cords. So now we're gonna close the hood. Let's go in the vehicle and erase the trouble cords. I don't think our suit level content is gonna change on the scan tool, but let's take a look and see what we got. I already have my scan tool connected to the vehicle. I'm gonna bring it up here. Let's do a code scan again. I'm sure we're gonna have a mass airflow sensor code in the engine computer. Let's list these control units. There you go, we have a mass airflow sensor code, which is okay. Let's do a quick erase. We're gonna erase all the codes out of all these control units. So we're gonna go into the engine computer. So we have no codes in the engine computer, that's good. So let's go to live data. We're gonna select our DPF data pids. All right, we're gonna show these pids. Now, the interesting thing is that our calculated load went up to 11.1 .1. And then our suit load measured went up to 10.8 grams. It was at 10.2, now it went up. We know where the problem is, but spraying some DPF cleaner in the DPF didn't fix this. Okay, I'm sure eventually this light is gonna come on. I'm gonna start the engine. So this thing is not fixed, guys. The check engine light will come on. So this DPF is restricted the DPF has to be replaced, okay? The check engine light is off now because we erased the trouble codes, but eventually it's gonna come back on. Let's go on a test drive. I'm gonna test drive the vehicle around the shop. Let's see how it drives. And as I'm test driving the vehicle, I have my data pads pulled up on the scan tool. I'm gonna be watching the data as I'm driving, okay? And then when we get back to the shop, when we come back, we're gonna make a decision on what we should do. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get a new DPF for this VW. So our numbers on the scan tool haven't changed. One thing I have noticed is that our suit load measured is dropping, okay? So this is a good sign. So as I'm driving, our suit level measured value has dropped. So now it's down to 3.6 grams. This is a manual transmission, so I have to be up shifting and down shifting gears as I'm driving. And I'm also holding the camera on the other hand, so this is not easy. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the value on the scan tool, there's a lot of glare. So I'm sorry, just take my word for it. Our suit load measured value right now is three grams. So let's see if it's gonna keep dropping. Hopefully it's gonna drop down to 0 0.5 or one gram.
let me slow down so I can show you the value that I have on the scan tool so I hope you can see this so here's what we have so our suit load measured went down to 1.8 grams so this was at 10.8 at some point it was at 10.2 grams but now we're reading 1.8 grams okay so which means the suit level in the DPF has been significantly reduced now is this true or not true I don't know we have to find out so now I am going to drive back to the shop I would like to connect my pressure gauge to the tube that goes to the front of the DPF to see if we no longer have a restriction and after that I will feel comfortable calling the customer so they can come pick up their vehicle right now our suit load measured value on the scan tool keeps dropping we are reading 1.2 grams right now so that's great I would like to see it drop down to 0.5 grams oh actually it went down now we're reading 0.9 grams so that's great let me show you guys so right here sorry for the glare so right now we're reading 0.9 grams of suit load in the DPF so that's pretty good I can live with that so now I'm gonna drive back to the shop I'm gonna drive back to the shop and then I'll bring you guys back up we are back at the shop the other thing that I noticed as I was driving into the shop is our suit measured value went down to zero remember before we had 10.2 grams of suit load measured over here but now we have we have zero so this is good okay our calculated is 12 but our measured is zero I mean this the uh, measured should be the actual I'm sorry for the glare guys the measured should be the actual load in the DPF right now okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the engine let's see if we can reset the pressure differential sensor maybe there's some type of reset we have to do so we have carbon mass DPF replacement oil hash volume engine control unit replacement DPF I mean regeneration for diesel particulate filter while driving it looks like we don't have an option to initialize the pressure differential sensor okay so no codes if we go to data okay this is showing zero suits inside the DPF now so I'm gonna do the uh, pressure test again let's measure the pressure in front of the DPF let's see if it's gonna be below 1 psi if it does that will tell me that this is fixed but if it doesn't I'm gonna recommend a DPF on this because the last thing I want is a comeback on this vehicle so let's go under the hood again I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive and if I'm going back and forth I want to make sure that this is fixed let's go under the hood and take a pressure measurement again let's do this test one more time before we wrap up this video I'm not really convinced that the suit load inside the DPF is now zero grams but let's double check let's double check before we tell the customer that the car is fixed because after I disconnect my pressure gauge to this hose over here if the pressure only goes up to 1 psi I can kind of take that but if it goes over 
one PSI, then no. Oh, this is hot. So I'm gonna connect my pressure gauge to this hose just like we did earlier. Okay, so watch the gauge. As you guys saw, this gauge kept going up. It kept going over one PSI when I revved up the engine. So this DPF is still restricted, okay? So the DPF cleaner didn't work. So if we deliver this to the customer and telling them that the vehicle is fixed, they will be back here in a couple of days. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put everything back together and then I'm gonna call my supplier, my parts supplier, to see if they have this DPF, okay? So if they do have it, we're gonna have to replace this DPF. I'm sure once we replace the DPF, we will be good to go. So I'm gonna reinstall the engine cover. We're gonna take this vehicle outside. I'm gonna leave this right over here. This vehicle is gonna need a new DPF. The DPF on this vehicle is clogged. We tried cleaning it with DPF cleaner, but that didn't help. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a new DPF for this. Once we get a new DPF, we're gonna install it and this will be fixed. Installing a DPF on this vehicle is a big job, so I don't know if we're gonna film it, but I'm gonna leave this right over here. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.